I didn't want to make this video, um, but I have no choice. There have been so many lies in the sports card community in the past few weeks regarding um, the alteration of cards. And I just feel like it's gotten out of hand and you're only hearing one side of the story, okay? I am a sports card conservationist, okay? When you... Okay, I think the best way to start about this is a couple examples, okay? Um, I went to a wedding recently and I had bought a new suit and the pants were not hemmed. Um, the jacket didn't fit too great. It just didn't look good, right? So what were my options? Throw it in the trash, um, donate it to Goodwill. So I, I decided to do something else and I took it to a tailor and through very basic and simple alter um, conservation, he fixed it up, and it was great. Okay? Are you listening? Another one. How about this one? You ever see a house? It says a uh, fixer-upper on it. It's a fixer-upper. Put some, put some sweat equity into this house. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I buy this house, and I fix up the kitchen. And I eventually sell the house for X number of dollars more. Is some nerd going to come up to me and say, That's not the true state of the house. You're not allowed to fix it. You're not allowed to fix it and profit from it. Are you listening? Do I need to dumb this down anymore? I don't think so. Do I profit from the preservation and conservation of these cards? Yes, I do. I don't see why that makes it wrong just because I profit from it. Does your doctor profit from it when he saves your life? Yes, he does. There's nothing wrong with that. I am providing a service akin to a doctor. Okay? I am providing a service akin to a doctor. I am fixing I'm fixing the cards, I'm making them better, okay? <sighs> I mean, I'm, I'm a little, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like, I'm just a little worked up about this. There's just so many lies. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to dumb this down a little bit for you. Because I could just see you freaking, you freaking nerds. I hate to call you nerds, but that's what you are. You freaking nerds. I can just see you. Just... <sighs> I'm just getting so upset listening to this guy. He just, he's a, he's a liar. He's ruining my cards. He's ruining everyone's cards. <laughs> I'm going to dumb this down for you nerds, okay? Live by these tenets. Join me. And you will, you will go farther than you even thought you can imagine in this hobby. I'm telling you. Just remember this when all else fails. Remember this, okay? Profit. Well, constantly conserving, okay? Do not forget this. This is how you're gonna get rich, okay? This is how you're gonna. This is how you're gonna take money from nerds, okay? I'm gonna walk you through my steps for educational purposes only, okay? This is not to say that I think this is illegal or immoral. But man, the nerds, the nerds, there's just millions of nerds and they're, they're, they're just gonna overwhelm me. They're gonna sue me, I don't know. So it's for educational purposes. I'm pretty sure you can't sue me when I say that. I'm gonna show my, uh, all, uh, my preservations of a cheap card. Um, there's a few reasons, the cheap cards. Um. Number one, mistakes happen, right? And I want you to start with the cheap card, so I'm going to lead by example here. I have mastered the science. Um, I'm not worried about making a mistake, but I'm going to lead by example, start with the cheap card. Number two, I don't want to show you a specific valuable card that I am um, fixing because, once again, the army of nerds, the AON, is just going to... 
don't don't buy this car. <sighs> um, yeah. So the the list of items you need, I, I'm gonna have a clip here, kind of going through the different things you need. Um, something I didn't mention, uh, you just need a paper trimmer, paper cutter. You'll see them at most offices, right? You can you can find one. I think they're at like FedEx, Kinkos, and some like that. Card to preserve. Reference card, flashlight, blood of albino pigeon from Himalayas. Scissors. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take our card that we'd like to preserve. As you see here, the right to left centering is awful. There's some dings also along the right edge that need to be preserved. There's a soft corner here you see here. Yeah, it's very soft. So here we have the ideal card, the 1998 Topps Tony Clark card. We will use to compare the size, okay? So this is this is the gold standard for all cards to make sure that they look proper. They have the proper width and height. So you see here there's a little bit hanging off the right side, but no need to worry. We're going to preserve the shit out of this card. Okay, so take a pen and take great care not to damage your 1998 Topps Tony Clark card. You would hate to get pen on there to deface it, okay? Be very careful. Probably the riskiest step here besides reading from the ancient tome. Okay, we're just going to take it to your run-of-the-mill paper cutter you'll find in most offices here. Now, I believe... There we go. I believe... I did not take enough off, so I don't recommend this um, without using a ruler, but I've done this so many times. I've preserved so many cards that I can just kind of eyeball it here. Okay, so I take the second side off, and here you go. Perfect centering. I mean, look at how preserved that card is. The edge looks great. The centering looks great. The upper right corner is great. We did a great job. Okay, guys, I mean, it's that simple. Um, if you have any questions, please post them down below. Um, this is a 10. You you saw it at the beginning. The proof's in the pudding, guys. It's preserved. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to submit this to PSA. I'm not even going to, you know, question it. It's a 10. Um, it's been preserved to um, the state it was intended thing is just immaculate um you might hear that in the background um that's really not a big deal it's kind of a side effect that does happen from time to time i mean you're reading from an ancient tome i mean there's gonna be some trial and error that one honestly that one i think i've had this one before it's not too bad um you might just want to go i'm probably just gonna go get uh, a room at the hotel tonight but he'll be he'll be gone tomorrow it's not that big of a deal so once again, I appreciate you guys having a uh, flexible intellect like myself. Uh, nerds don't comment. And um, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, email if, you, if you're more comfortable reaching me that way. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.